Hey Rivals, welcome to Bax Attacks, episode 16 in our Let's Play series. We are winding down Stronghold level 6 because we are part of an outstanding kingdom called Touch Arcadians, in which we do well in our kingdom raids and win a lot of rings, and that is really, really helpful for younger Stronghold levels. We have finished upgrading our true portals, as well as our Dragon Roost, our Barracks, and our Blacksmith. And the only thing really we have to left to upgrade on offense is the Soldier and the Mana Hunter. Pretty small boost on the uh, Soldier, so we're not going to wait on those. We're not going to wait on our defenses to go ahead up to Stronghold 7 because there we'll get Paladins. So we need 90,000 gold to get that Soldier upgrade going and jumping into the fire daily quest sunstaff outpost is a good way to try to get some gold so let's give that a shot these daily quests are a lot of fun especially at the at the smaller uh, younger stronghold levels all right so we have to use a fire engine and aloni and solvert are our two choices aloni's Fire Frenzy spell is going to be very useful here because that will give us total immunity to these flame bolt uh, towers, the red towers there. That's going to be very handy, especially as those are protecting the stronghold. So let's start out by grabbing whatever free mana we can. Use our dragon and mana hunters for that. And as soon as we have enough for dragon frenzy we'll do that now notice I'm intentionally sending the dragon through the spell towers in order to force them to take a shot at the dragon this gives me about a second or two to get that spell up on our own troops instead of them taking the blast before I can get that fire frenzy going so we just have to recast that a few times the stronghold is taken out and we use a fire elemental to help it clean up use another frenzy and they're going to be able to just fight through the base there. So the first base is pretty straightforward. And let's see if we can continue our good fortune on the second one. Aloni worked out pretty well in that raid. We'll probably stick with her on this one. But it always depends on the base. This one is a Stronghold 7, it's going to be tougher. The defenses up to the north look rather strong, but there's a long distance we have to go through from the south. However, that true portal down south is completely free, so that makes for a good entry point there. So we'll go ahead and get the free mana up top. We'll come down for that Kingdom Portal next. That way we won't have to breach through the walls at all. Once the Kingdom Portal is down, we can just drop the troops right in there. And with the Flame Bolt Tower nearby, we're going to want to use that Lightning Frenzy fairly quickly as well. We'll send our Dragon to take one of those shots. We're going to try to have him end in a safe place so that he can come back. If he went all the way up top, the watchtower would get him. So we'll drop in those troops quickly. Fire Frenzy down. Alright, we're in decent shape here. Give a freeze. With four down, another Fire Frenzy. We still have that Flame Bolt Tower left up north. Things are looking pretty good here. A lot of splash damage from the catapult up north, but I think we'll be able to frenzy through that. Hang back on Forgall just in case we need to snipe down the stronghold. And we've got it, so we'll give a freeze. Put down an elemental, help out with the cleanup, frenzy those, and see if we can get some of that extra gold. And yes, we can get all of that. So good, that's going to be an epic victory on this second base. A little more difficult than the first one, but still not too bad. And let's see if we can run through that third base quickly. That'd be kind of nice. 
but if you saw the title of the episode, you know that's not going to be the case. So this is a much tougher stronghold. It's level 8, and if you notice, it's got a complete set of walls around the town hall, and so our ground troops are going to run around in circles and not attack the town hall. In addition, we've got some really tough defenses down south. We've got spread out spell towers. We've got watchtowers. The only thing we have in our favor here is still a large amount of the um, free mana. So we'll stick with Aloni. I see we can snipe that down there. You can always click on a defense on a base and see its radius. And, and get a good sense of whether you'll be able to snipe it all there or not. That's a very handy tip. As soon as that's down, we'll head over and get some of those other portals. Be nice to have some extra mana on this one. is to deploy the troops up north near the catapult. And one of the dangers to my approach of getting as much free mana as possible in the beginning is sometimes I lose track of how much time we have left. And at this point I notice we're down to about 40 seconds. So I go into panic mode. Drop everything. Hope they go in. Skywatcher's still there. Freeze it up before I send in the Mana Hunters. Friend them up. Less than 20 seconds left. You can see the troops going in a circle around the base. And just a few Wardens. Can they get it done? Not quick enough. Alright, so got a fail on that one, but that was, that was my own fault for waiting too long. dive right in and try that again. Now actually what happened here was I lost two or three more times and really my main point for this whole video is that those who do not learn from their failures are doomed to repeat them. What I did on one of the tries was to get away from those catapults and come in from the, the left side near that spell tower. Uh, however, once the Wardens got close to the stronghold, both of the catapults were in range and they completely wrecked them. So really, what we have to do is to knock out one of the catapults and take out the stronghold with Wardens from the opposite side. So I'm loading up on a few extra Wardens. In fact, I don't want to fail again, so I'm going to use a boost and just one of our cheap, cheap Wardens here. And so we're going to come from the southeast direction this time it's a lot of tough defenses there, but once we knock them out, we'll be set up for our Wardens to take out the Stronghold. We're still going to need some mana, and let's try real hard not to go overboard this time, so that we don't run out of time. But we're going to be using multiple Frenzies here, so we do need the mana for that. Once we clear out these last buildings, we're going to get deploying the troops very quickly. We're going to get them down just outside the range of the flame tower, frenzy them up quickly to give them protection. And now Forbell's going to do a sweep or two in order to give them some extra protection. We're holding off one of the wardens just so they don't accidentally all get killed. We'll frenzy them up. One more sweep with Vorvel. Now it's time to drop the Warden. That Now that he has a clear shot to the Stronghold, now we have a ton of Wardens firing, not just one or two. So even with those Bunker Soldiers coming out, they're going to take down the Stronghold. And finally, after five tries, we have victory on the third base and Sunstead output. So make sure that when you are trying to, to beat a tough base, to learn from your mistakes, to think through what you need to do better next time, and then to implement that. Now for our reward, did we get Kara's Sunstaff? Did we get Jal? Perhaps not. Or a Fire Elemental. <laughs>